My name is Jeff Rolka. Thank you for checking out this video. This video is about developing the falsetto range in tenor range vocalists. If you have not yet refined your technique through the secondo passaggio, there is a link on screen now with a video that can help you practice that. I recommend you check that out before you dive in here. Also, if, you are, if your engagement, your airflow, is not really, really solid, there is another link on screen now that I would recommend you check out. If all of that is good to go, thank you for checking out the video again. Thank you if you've chosen to subscribe. If you haven't yet, I hope you'll consider doing so now. Also, if you want a step-by-step -step method, as well as all sorts of other freebies and exclusive content, go to jeffrolka.com, get on the mailing list. It's all kinds of cool stuff. All right, so for starters, you got a one octave arpeggio. I would recommend you practice this with the super lip trill. We really want to let our voices kind of flip over and flip back. We're just getting a gross idea of how we're going to transition through these registers of our voices. So we're going to move very quickly here. Okay, if you can't do the just do that's fine too. Starting here. Let's do that again, and this time I want you to really focus on increasing the airflow as you ascend, allowing a crescendo to happen, which means getting a little louder, and then a diminuendo as you descend again, still with the lip trill, preferably with, preferably with the super lip trill. And Okay, E. Again, it's gonna flip up, let it flip up and let it come back down. E. E. And. try and let our voices do what it's going to do as we move through these ranges. If we try to control it too much, we risk exerting too much vocal fold engagement on these tiny muscles that need to be free to shift positions as we move through these different registers. We're moving towards a more scalar approach to this, which means we're getting closer to what we can use in a song. If you are, have been successful, please continue. If you haven't yet, review until you're getting that more comfortably and then press on into this. For the beginnings of our pentatonic scales, we will again begin with the lip trill. Again, super lip trill. On a pentatonic scale. Do the lip trill. Again, letting it flip up. 
making sure you've got enough airflow. You've got to have enough airflow for this to stay released. For me, it starts to feel very glassy as I make this transition into this falsetto range. And wider vowel it's going to be a little bit easier to increase the airflow but we risk getting a little too airy on it and getting only a partially adducted vocal fold so be mindful of that like doing those pentatonic scales it sounds well I think it sounds very pretty anyway um, now we get to do some regular diatonic scale and arpeggio work integrating this range of our voices again if you haven't been successful thus far please go back and review it review your airflow review the secondo passaggio practice those are integral parts of being successful in this range of our voices all of these technical concepts come together in the zona de passaggio and above so they've really we've really got to have solid technique to make this work properly uh, by way of getting a few more exercises again go back to the lip trill on this we're going to start right there really really getting right up to the falsetto range and up into it first again super lip trill or lip trill <laughs> You can really get a sense of how much airflow you need when you use the lip trill in this capacity. One more time. And. tonal onset when you begin with this exercise start light <laughs>
And there you go. As always, I hope that helps. My name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing and hopefully we'll see you again.